Hey, it's Moderately Otaku coming back with another My Hero Academia review. Episode 11 felt faster than usual because of everything that happened this episode. Instead of one full episode focusing on just one battle, they went through other fights pretty quickly. Um, there's a lot of things covered in this episode, especially that cliffhanger at the end, but we'll get to that later. So after the fight with Midoriya, Todoroki meets his dad in the hallway and he's all proud that his son decided to use his quirk, but he reveals that he forgot about his dad in that moment. <laughs> Damn, what a sick bird. I would have liked to see him decline his dad's offer to work for him and say that he wants to walk his own path, but he doesn't shake Endeavor's hand and instead just walks away, which is pretty good too. Now, in the hospital, we find out the extent of damages Deku inflicted upon himself. Um, he pushed himself too far that even Recovery Girl can't fully heal his right hand and it's going to be crooked permanently. And even if he did win the fight against Todoroki, he would have gotten eliminated right after. And it's good that the fight ended right there, or else there would have been more injuries and his future career would have been affected as well. It's kind of messed up when you think about it since All Might is placing all these expectations on him at the beginning of the match, and he's the type of guy to push himself to the limit. The end result is usually him getting really beat up, so Recovery Girl ends up refusing to treat any more of these self-inflicted injuries. I think that's a really good thing, because it lights a fire under their butts to figure out a better way for Deku to train and use his quirk. Naturally, he blames himself and regrets trying to save Todoroki, because the odds of him winning were much better going up against only the ice quirk. And some people in the forums wonder that too, because they were salty that Deku didn't win. Like, some, some are like, hey, it's a festival, you're supposed to do anything to win, why would you help your opponent? Well, All Might says that meddling in things that you didn't need to, those are actions of a true hero. And heroes aren't there just to win, but also help others find the right path to take, inspire others, and all that. So I didn't really blame Deku for doing what he did. His result even falters, and he suggests All Might that maybe he should give the quirk to someone else, someone who's, who's able to handle the power. But then we find out All Might himself was quirkless, and that his master believed in him, just like how he believes in Deku. This was a really touching moment between All Might and Miroria, and really needed too, cause now his spirits are lifted again. They went through several fights pretty quickly. Even with the shorter fights, they were really enjoyable. <laughs> like uh, Ida's fight with Shiozaki was pretty hilarious. He just runs up to her and pushes her out of the arena without harming her. Also, Bakugo gets smart and notices his enemy's weaknesses rather than just blasting away blindly. Although he still just blasts away too. <laughs> now, as the sports festival goes on, something bad seems to be brewing out in the city. Ida's brother, Tensei, tracks down someone called the Hero Killer, and it doesn't end well for him. I mean, what a terrible day for Ida. He wasn't able to make it to number one, and his brother gets taken out all at the same day. Like, God, I feel so bad for him. But the hero killer, Stain? He sounds like really bad news. His character design and voice are really creepy, and he's approached by the League of Villains. That's a really bad combo. Also, I might be remembering wrong, but this might be the first time seeing this much, like this amount of blood in this anime. I hope Ida's brother makes it out alive, but it's most likely he's gone. With this Stain guy, things are gonna take a darker turn. It looks like there might be an attack on the good guys in the future, maybe even during the festival. There's 25 episodes total, so it's gonna be packed with more Hero Academia goodness. So yeah, I really enjoy this episode, and I actually like it when it's faster paced to be honest. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.